Did I smile? You did smile. <laughs> That's going wrong. A senior member of England's World Cup campaign team has told the BBC the bid has been significantly harmed by a newspaper investigation into the bidding process. This was reports by the Sunday Times some weeks back, you might remember, and it's led to two officials at FIFA being suspended over allegations of corruption. Phil Hall is a former editor of the News of the World, now a PR consultant. Afternoon, Phil. Good afternoon. What do you think, then? Do you think the Sunday Times have really damaged England's bid? I think um, I think you've got to remember that uh, investigative journalism is, very, is a very powerful tool, and you have to use it very carefully. And I think um, I think when they investigated the two officials who were looking for money, I think that's perfectly justifiable and reasonable. And um, I think they should do that. But I think then you've got to be very careful. When I think it was the following week they did an investigation where it was a, it was less uh, it, there was there was virtually no evidence. In fact, they were speaking to somebody who'd who'd had a bit of a checkered past, and they were undercover with him, offering him huge incentives to speak to them. And then, he, of course, he made certain confessions to try and agree with the reporters. You've just got to be very careful mm. when you're doing these stories. You get it absolutely right. That the journalism is, is rock solid. Yeah. Would you, as an editor, have any problems? Because, obviously, any newspaper in this country would probably like to see England have a successful bid because um, of all the, you know, positive press and positive feeling that that brings. Would you have had any doubts as an editor to publish a story like no, that? No, not if officials are... are, are, are putting themselves up for money I think uh, I think you, we have to be careful I mean I think we may laugh and you may think I'm saying this tongue-in-cheek but actually I think our, polit our politicians and our, our government have more integrity than probably anywhere else in the world because we have a media that follows them and watches them and catches them out when they make mistakes and I think that's what that's the role of of the media in this country I mean you look at BBC Panorama fantastic reputation and I think it's very important that we protect the media in that way, but as long as they use these, these weapons carefully. Yeah, and I do think, and perhaps I would say this, but I do think we have some of the best investigative journalism in the world here. Um, but FIFA is a notoriously difficult organisation to deal with. Uh, do you think the England bid will be damaged? Do you think the well, feathers have been ruffled enough? The difficulty is, and I think what happened last week when you looked at, you know, England were accusing the Russians and the Russians came back and apologised, in the end, FIFA get damaged. It doesn't matter what happens, whether, whether it's right or wrong, just the argument damages FIFA. And I think they're right to be sensitive, and you can understand why they feel that actually they're not doing anything wrong, and yet they're getting sort of tainted by the various arguments that are going around the world. So I do understand why one or two officials might feel a little bit sensitive about it. But, you know, we had similar situations with the Olympic Games, and actually we won the right to, to stage them in the end. So... I, I do think it's pe perhaps a little bit of an overreaction at the moment. Thanks very much for your thoughts. Phil Hall, uh, PR consultant currently. Yeah.